Hi everyone, this is Tamer, and it feels so awesome to say that I've finally seen the Super Mario Bros. movie twice now, so I'm doing a lot of discussion type of videos here on the channel, and today I'm ranking the six cast members. Uh, don't worry, this really won't have that many spoilers, I'll try to keep it to a minimum, so hope you enjoy. So they, these were my rankings before the movie, so I want to basically kind of edit them with how I feel. Number one, number one is still Charlie Day as Luigi. I loved his performance. He had kind of that goofy cowardliness of Luigi, but also that action and adventure side. And what I really liked is that I heard Luigi. I did not hear Charlie Day. Charlie Day has a very recognizable voice, and he sounds like Luigi. And not only the voice, but he has these like little mannerisms and sayings and like just that energy, man. I loved it. Martin Luigi's relationship with the sibling stuff was one of my favorites in the movie number two in a close second is jack black as bowser um he was scary but also goofy in the right way and when he was goofy it was very unique to bowser i thought there would be a bit more jack black isms but there really wasn't the song that he sings is a lot of fun and i feel like there's a lot of sunshine a lot of odyssey with jack black's bowser kind of that goofy side but he can also be intimidating and i thought that him the scenes with him and mario were pretty scary when they needed to be Alright, major switch. Chris Pratt, I'm going to move up. Um, at number three. I really liked his Mario. I was surprised. He speaks a lot, and it's only about four lines we can really hear Chris Pratt is Mario. But besides that, he gives a really good performance. He kind of has that likable trait Mario should have. I think what makes Mario so good is that he's a very everyday guy, and you really got that in the performance. Okay. The three of these are very hard to rank. Before we do that, I'm going to do some honorable mentions for these four. Charles Martinet, great cameo. I really love Kevin Ra Michael Richardson as Kamek. Awesome voice. So spot on. Fred Armisen was okay as Frankie Kong, and Sebastian Manusco is not in it as much as Spike, but those are my thoughts. So four, five, and six. I'm going to go Keegan Michael Key at four. I like his tone voice. I wish he did a bit more with it. He kind of does the, hey, Mario. Sorry, that was a bad impression, but... That's kind of what it is. It's good. I wanted more Toad in the movie, but one thing I'm happy is that the Toads never got annoying. They were always used well for the comedic effect, but not too much. And I liked King and Michael Kia's Toad. I, I just think we could have done a bit more. All right, between Seth Rogen um, and Nani and Killjoy, I'm going to go with Seth Rogen as five. I, I liked his voice a bit less. It's still good. Don't get me wrong, but... It wasn't as deep or growling as I thought it could have been. I wanted him to do a lot more with it. I just don't think he did. Um, Anya Taylor Joy was good as Peach, but I just feel like there's so many lines that needed this energy, and she just didn't have it. She wasn't bad, but the way she sounded like it's like, okay, I'm doing this movie, cool. There wasn't that passion I heard from like Charlie Day, Jack Black, or Chris Pratt. But yeah, those are the rankings, everyone, from after seeing the movie. I think everyone was casted well, even like Fred Armisen, who I know people like in it with, I, I, I thought he was fine, I think the casting worked out really well, and it's so funny because this was such a big deal, and it all worked out great, so yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you for more, take care.